This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up? Real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, and welcome into another episode of Heel Talk, brother. I'm joined with the coolest dude on the planet, brother. So be Mother Muffins, brother. Mother Muffins? <laughs> It's an inside joke. I mean, Remember, I called you Soapy Mother that one time. Mother brother. Uh, mother. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say like Mother Muffins, but I'm like that. All right. No, you'd be Father Muffins. Called that. You'd be Father yeah. Muffins. Yeah, Papa Muffins. <laughs> Papa Muffins. Is that what we? When you when you become my age and hit your thirties, do we start calling you Papa Muffins? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Soapy's like, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, I mean, that's like six years away before, you know, I turned 30, so mm -hmm. well, uh, that'll be something for each of me to have to put up with. I, I do have to say, before we get into everything, that uh, we are two days two days removed, but that's everyone in the chat has to wish happy birthday to Soapy. Yeah. You, you made it one more revelation around the, a revolution around the sun? <laughs> I made one more revelation. <laughs> yeah, one more revelation. I have one thought every year. <laughs> more thoughts than i've had each year yeah i just it, that that's how i can tell how old i am it's like i've had one thought every year i had one thought and it happens on my birthday but no happy birthday soapy you're a year older you're a year wiser eh. well a year wiser in wrestling why. terms eh. <laughs> well welcome into heel talk everybody this is the podcast with mvp entertainment where we talk about wrestling Today we got a great show. We're talking AEW. We're talking Vince McMahon. Uh, before we get into everything, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Discord. Join the MVP Discord. That link is in the description. You can also support us on our Patreon page, which we are live to our Patreons each and every time that we uh, that we are recording these podcasts. Other great perks you can get down below in there, along with all of our socials. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that like button. And leave a comment down below. Wish Soapy a happy birthday, even though it's two days removed right now from his birthday as we are recording this. But Soapy, first thing I want to talk about today. Well, actually, you brought this. Up. I shouldn't say I want to talk about it because you were the one that brought this to my attention, brought it up that uh, a lot of people apparently are not happy with AEW because of All Out. If you guys missed it, there were some... Uh, how do I put this graphic moments as some would say, you know, hangman getting his back scratched on a, cause he, he, he missed, he got his back scratched on that cinder block. Swerve got his back completely bent and broken on that cinder block. And then, uh, uh, Swerve also got his head bashed in with a steel chair. Yeah. We also saw literally the death of Brian Danielson as John Moxley put his worst enemy over his head, unrecycled plastic uh, know, over his head. Long-term storytelling. <laughs> Long storytelling, all the way back from WWE. So be the question I'll ask to kind of start this is, uh, did AEW go too far or are people just uh, got their panties in a jumble for no reason? I, I actually think it's a little bit of both. So for the prerequisite of it, Mm -hmm. I personally am not a giant fan of, like, deathmatch wrestling stuff overall. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just because, personally, it's not a thing that I enjoy. I don't yeah. mind it most of the time. But, like, there's a couple times that, you know, some things, I'm like, okay, I'm like, why, why would you do that? Yeah. Like, I think that the stuff with the cinder block, I think, was a little too far. At least for me, like, the chair shot is where a lot of people focus. It's like the chair shot and the needle were a lot oh, of people focus. I forgot focused. about the needle because I... They have a phobia of them. Yeah, so, like, it's a lot of people focused on those, and where, to me, where it was, like, as long as chair shots to the head are done safely, I don't mind. Obviously, we could already tell. One, there's no way humanly possible he swung a chair that hard mm -hmm. to hit his head. Like, let's, let's be real, guys. Eh? Like, he imploded the chair. It literally flipped around. The seat yeah. was where, like, the legs were. Mm-hmm. Do you know how hard you have to swing a, a steel chair to do that? I don't know. That impact was loud. That was a loud pop. Yeah. I mean, it's not loud enough to flip the chair 180. <laughs> 
But, like, that's the thing. Where, like I said, as long as it's done safely and, you know, with the consent of everyone involved, mm -hmm. I'm perfectly fine with it. The needle stuff, I don't hate needles, so it didn't bother oh. me that much. Oh, I hate, like, like, the needle thing, it wasn't like a, like, oh, they shouldn't have done that. I couldn't watch it, though. When we were watching... And uh, my internet popped out, and I missed the needle. And Jake's like, "Oh, you got you got to see the needle part." I was like, "Nope, nope, 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 can't see yeah. that, can't yeah, see that." I, remember I hate it was needles. Dick was rewinding to show you. That. Oh, I hate needles so much. Yeah. Also, as well, sorry guys if I sound a little different. I am sick right now, so just as caveat. So he's got his flu game going on. Yeah, I got my flu podcast going. Let's hope that <laughs> flu case. You know, I don't. Yeah, I don't just die afterwards. It's not but the like, flu, it's just a cold. Who knows, it could be. <laughs> who knows, it could I almost, be. I almost went like Jesse Ventura there for a second. How do you know that the, that <laughs> the, the flu ain't the cold there? I'm from Minnesota. Yeah, God, I gotta get him to, to say <laughs> stuff like that. But, but, like, no, I think it's... I think there are parts of it that went a little too far. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the... Primarily the cinder block. Like, a lot of people won't talk about the Willow and Stat match, even though that was a really good match. Like, genuinely, like, that was actually just fun. Willow rolls like, out of the way, Chris see... Statlander is like, I'm still gonna hit you. <laughs> yep. But yeah, like, I like the fact that, you know, like, that one, like, yeah, I was hitting someone with, like, you know, a fluorescent light tube. But, like, mm -hmm. for anyone who's ever held one of those things, they don't really feel like anything. Yeah. Like, the reason you use fluorescent light tubes is because when they break, they pop. That's yeah. why you use them. Yeah. Like, they're not taking just a regular light bulb and just, like, chucking it at someone, like a fastball. Mm -hmm. They're not, like, think fast, chuckle nuts, and, like, throwing, a, a, like, a regular light bulb at someone. They're just doing something that, like, is, it, as it hits you, it pops, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think there's parts of it that are too far... I, Grant, I think some people are taking it too far that mm -hmm. they're acting like someone pulled out a gun and, like, shot Swerve, like, four times on the ground. Well, like, the thing that I'm going to say is, and maybe I'm jumping the gun here, but my thought when it was happening was, wow, this, not the Willow, like, the Willow and the Chris match, that, I, I didn't think that went too far. I thought that was, like, watching that, I'm like, oh, I've seen this in a... You know, Edge Finn Balor match. I've seen this in a any Cactus Jack match or Mick Foley match. Has had like thumbtacks and or Terry Funk like this the like the light tube. Eh, maybe we're just not used to it, but like it's nothing over the extreme. But like the Daniel Bryanson angle, the Swerve Hangman stuff. The thing I couldn't help thinking about during the podcast, or not during the podcast, during the pay-per-view, was, wow, this has vibes of the Attitude Era. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed it. Like, honestly, I thought it was a pretty solid pay-per-view mm -hmm. overall. Like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the year for AEW, mm -hmm. but, like, I think it was good. I think it put on, you know, some good matches. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, and, I mean, it's like you said. I think that there's a lot of it to where it felt like a more... I don't know if I'd say just Attitude Era. It felt more like an old, like, ECW-type feel. Okay. Of where, like, obviously ECW was much more of, like, you know, getting hit with chairs and tables. Mm hmm But, like, it just kind of had, like, a feeling, you know, of, like, an old, just, like, oh, hey, we're just going to put people through tables pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, and I, I enjoy that. Granted, I thought it was so funny that how, like, the Spanish announce table broke when Willow got powerbombed onto it. It was like, the front part fell off and then the rest of it fell down. Yeah. Yeah, I but just... Like... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's... I think the only things that I genuinely do think went a little too far, mm -hmm. and granted, and this is just because of what the public perception's going to be, it didn't bother me, mm -hmm. was the, like, the plastic bag over the head... And that's just because the whole thing of now it's going to lead to people being like, I don't want my kids watching that. It's like, if your kids, after watching wrestling, start choking people out with plastic bags, I hate to break it to you, that's not wrestling being the, you know, the problem as you as a bad parent. Like, like I'm sorry. Right. I will be Parents mad. don't like taking responsibility 
for yeah, the like, I'm not supposed to raise my son, the TV is. <laughs> yeah. Like the iPad should raise him. Yeah, it's like that's the whole reason why you teach your kid that, you know, mm -hmm. you know, hey, just because someone else doesn't doesn't mean you should do it. Mm -hmm. Like, or for instance, you know, maybe, just maybe. Crazy thought process here, guys. I hope you guys are ready for it. If your kid is watching something, watch it with them. So, you know, that, like, when it's happening, mm -hmm. you can be like, yeah, by the way, don't do that. Because if your kid's like, well, why, papa? I don't know why your kid's little Timmy, but, like... <laughs> why, papa? Yeah, but, like, if your kid's like, why? And it's like, because that actually hurts people. Mm -hmm. Granted, if your kid doesn't get that from watching them, you know, having Daniel Bryan pass out in the middle... Of, or not in the middle of the ring, like, underneath the rope, then, I mean... Your kid's a lost cause, buddy. Your kid's gonna be a psychopath. He's gonna rip the legs off of ants and stuff. <sighs> Did it go too far? Maybe. Like, but I'm trying to think. So, like, there's a part of me that thinks why people are so upset about this is just because it's, like, of the world, like, so I think of the Attitude Era, right? And you can even throw ECW in this, too, because ECW, like, around the same time that with WWE, it was, like, the um, early 2000s, mid-2000s, if I'm correct. Yeah. Like, back then, and that was prime Ricky being a kid era, I don't remember everyone being so uptight about everything. We could offend, like, especially with stuff about comedy, like, we could offend more and it wasn't like shunned by everybody to where there's a part of me that just thinks it's like, did this go too far or is the world we live in now a much different place where things like this will get shunned or people will try to shun it because, oh, that shouldn't be on TV when let's be honest, it wasn't on TV. It was on a pay-per-view. You had to yeah. pay to get it. Yeah. Well, let alone it's also as well of, you know, we saw the last time Swerve and Hangman had a match, they were stapling each other. The match ended because the, someone the hung someone. Yeah. Like, if you go into this one being like, guys, maybe this is just a couple guys <laughs> grappling. You know, we're back to the regular. No, mm -hmm. like, this is a blood feud. These guys hate each other. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how people don't, like, and I understand if you don't enjoy deathmatch wrestling, mm -hmm. if that's not your style, the problem is people have to understand you not liking something doesn't equal that it's bad. Yeah. Because, like, for instance, prime example, you ready for it, Ricky? Go ahead. I think the original Avatar movie sucks. Wait, which Avatar? The blue people one. Okay, me. okay, cool. Blue people. Cool. Yeah. But I was, like, I was like, yeah, Avatar The Last Banner Bender, of yeah, course no, we that all know sucked. that movie sucks. <laughs> but like, so instance, where are you me, going at? Where are you going with this one? Yeah, but like, for instance, I think that movie sucks. A mm -hmm. lot of people wouldn't agree with me. Uh, didn't it win an Emmy also, or an Oscar or whatever the award is that doesn't really matter? Something. Yeah, it got some type of award that doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But like, for instance, me not liking it doesn't mean me saying like, oh, I like... It's a good movie. I just don't like it. Like, that's the whole thing that people have to kind of have the mentality with stuff. Mm -hmm. Is like, just because you don't enjoy something doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. Because as well, and I hate always making it into this, but this is what a lot of it is. A mm -hmm. lot of it's tribalistic BS. Yes. People looking for any reason to hate something. Because mm -hmm. these are the same people who were perfectly fine when like five years ago, Bray Wyatt got lit on fire. Mm -hmm. Not a peep. Not a peep, not a squeak, nothing. Yeah. These are the same people that, you know, in the Attitude Era, when they literally hung the big boss man. From the steel cage. Yeah, didn't care. When, li when you know. When literally, in, 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 in we're talking TV pay-per-view. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Kane on live TV, yeah, Mayor Kane, by the way, on live TV, tried to, oh, was it him or Snitsky? That tried to, it was some about Lita's unborn child, and then Snitsky uh, ended up punting the child. That was live TV, people. 
Yeah. Because that was when they did the whole thing that it was Snitsky pushed Kane. Mm -hmm. Kane bumped into Lita. She fell down. They had a miscarriage angle. And then Mm -hmm. Snitsky kept doing the, I didn't do it. He took the plastic baby and punted it into the crowd. Because wasn't that whole storyline that Kane... Kane's actually the good guy in this okay. whole thing in okay. the end. Where somehow but, but wasn't Kane there something where Kane language. might have done something against Lita's consent? I'm really yeah. dancing around this for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you know, there was a certain four letter word that starts with R. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That but he did was happen, the good right? guy, R word. That did happen, right? Yeah, that okay. was an actual storyline. Okay. I just want to make sure my memory is right. Because that's when they did the weird, like, custody Alita matches. With, like, mm. him, Matt Hardy, and Edge. Yeah. Of where it's like, all right, what a storyline. But <laughs> It's better than, but what, like, the no, Katie I Vick? Just... <laughs> Anything's better than Katie Vick. <laughs> but, like, the fact that we're, like, it's people make it a tribalistic thing, mm-hmm. and I hate it. Because it's like, no, talk objectively about something. This isn't a, like, oh, well, if WWE does it, it's fine, but AEW does it, it's bad, or vice versa. No, mm-hmm. just shut up. If you are going to hold one company to one standard, hold all of them. Because this is the thing. And people will be like, well, I do hold them to that. Where were you guys complaining when, you know, Bray Wyatt got lit on fire? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Was it or Randy Orton? When... Yeah. Did, or did well, yeah, Randy, Randy lay him on, Bray fire. on fire? Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, because okay. when he was dressed up as the Fiend and he was laying in the middle of the ring and he threw the match on him and he got lit yeah. on fire. Or when Chad Gable died. Yeah. Literally. No, that was cool. Died. That was cool. Yeah, to be like, guys, look, all right? It was a cinematic thing. That's why it's cool. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, sure, whatever. Or the, like, the multiple times that they've done violent things in WWE. Mm-hmm. The problem I have is that people will always move the goalpost and make it a tribalistic thing. That it's like, well, it's fine if one does it, but it's fine, but it's not fine if the other does. No, mm-hmm. it's either fine or it's not fine. It has nothing to do with the company itself. And I I guarantee that there is someone out there that's like, well, it's fine if WWE does it because look how many ratings they have. Shut up. Genuinely. Like, I don't want to keep making every time I bring up AEW, like a ratings thing. here's Here's how I'm looking at it, right? It's the differences of the two companies. And I I didn't want to bring WWE into this, but since we did, like, let's look at it. So if you look at the two type of companies they are able to run their companies differently. WWE right now, they made their partnership with uh, TKO. They're now with the UFC. It's no longer so like, like what AEW is now is what WWE was until recently, basically all through the Vince eras, because before what WWE, it was Vince was in control. If you didn't like it, didn't matter. You weren't the one funding it. Vince McMahon was. Now, Triple H, he can't just say, ah, we're going to do this. Oh, it's too far. I don't care. Because he's got higher ups. He's got board of executives that will be like, no, 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 no. We have to protect the brand. We have to protect the brand. Da, 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 da. Like all that stuff. Where AEW can go out there. Wrestlers can say, I want to put a bag over brian danielson's head i want to do this angle and if tk is okay with it tk goes yeah sure whatever because who's fronting the bill tk well daddy daddy but uh no no I, i'm kidding it's tk but like yeah. tk fronts the bill sean Khan is just in there all right tony i will write you another check but make sure it goes to better use this time <laughs> yeah but that's, well, the, that's, that's the difference it doesn't yeah. matter if people hate AEW for it because who's the only opinion that matters? Tony Khan, because he's writing the checks. As long as he wants to write the checks, AEW is going to go. Yeah. And that's just the whole thing of where, like, when people will be like, oh, well, like, they're scaring away sponsors. Mm-hmm. I, sorry, last I checked, you know, and I've had this exact same thing where I've said this. You about- mean I don't have to see... John Moxley versus Daniel Bryan, brought to you by Slim Jim. Oh, Slim well, Jim all even, over the ring. I'm okay with that. that. <laughs> I'm okay, okay with that. And it's a thing I hate when people are like, well, advertisers don't like that. Do you guys remember when you'd be watching Breaking Bad in like the mm-hmm. early parts of the episodes, you know, like early on? Mm-hmm. 
And you get commercials. Isn't it really funny that advertisers pick and choose when they care, like what their product's shown with? Yeah. Because you know, breaking bad turn- meth. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's see. Yeah, a show about you know, literally like the second episode, they dissolve a human being in a bathtub. That was funny though. They yeah, cut that away a- to a Lay's chip ad. <laughs> that and Lay's a- is like, we want family friendly content. That That's was- family friendly. That was a funny scene, though, because they did it in the bathtub, yeah. and then it melted the bathtub and went right through the floor. Yeah, and he was like, oh, where'd you put him, Jesse? <laughs> yeah, and then he just fell down from the roof. But, like, yeah. like, that's what I mean, though. It's just, I don't like when people are like, well, think of the sponsors. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. The sponsors don't care what you do when you're not on television. Who should dictate the content? The, do you want sponsors dictating content? Or do you want fans dictating content? I want fans. I don't Bingo. care what the sponsors think. The problem is, like, and this is why I hate the ratings conversation. Sorry, I may always find a way to no, make this ahead. about ratings. Well, it's, like, talk about it's, it's like us right now, you and I doing this podcast. Because we put it on YouTube, why do we have to be so sensitive about, like, if we swear or if we say this or like, oh, in the first 30 seconds, you can't do this. Why? Because catering to the sponsors. Oh, it's got to be... We're, YouTube's not going to have these sponsors come in anymore. So so you're not allowed to do... Old YouTube way better than new YouTube. I'm just going to say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can thank a lot of people at YouTube for that. Mm-hmm. But, like... And this is why I don't like when people talk about the ratings argument. Of, like, yes, they get more viewers. They also have had to neuter how hardcore they can do things in their product. Mm-hmm. Like, and this is the thing, mind you, I'm not a fan of a lot of, like, the Attitude Era wrestling stuff of, like, how they treated women's wrestling back then. It wasn't wrestling. Yeah. But, like, imagine, like, we already kind of look at some of the stuff Rhea does as kind of raunchy a little bit. Imagine Mm -hmm. what it would have been like if that, like, if they didn't have to cater to sponsors being like, hey, you know, be respectful. Yeah. If they were just like, all right, do whatever you want, we'd be in hell. Mm -hmm. I'd be in the horny dungeon right now. I'd be in horny jail. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, I'd be gone. I I'd wouldn't be, be here. On the We'd head. be live streaming from a cellar. I'd be like strung up against the wall. Mm-hmm. But like the whole thing, and like that's why I hate when people make it things like that. I do not care what the sponsors think. I don't care what the TV executives think because realistically, they don't care either. Yeah. All they care about is money. Mm-hmm. If you make them money at the end of the day, they don't care if you average six hundred thousand or a million. They don't care mm-hmm. because, like I said, as long as you are making them money, they won't care. That's yeah. why when people bring up the Nielsen ratings and they're like, "Well, like they don't even get this number, so why did it, why does it matter?" But when like you know Warner's come out multiple times and been like, "Yeah, like this is the number we give them." Mm-hmm. And people are like, wow, I, I guess they're just wrong. And I'm like, they have the actual numbers. You're looking at the guy who just makes up the number. Mm-hmm. Like, no one cares about Nielsen ratings. And there's a reason no one cares. Because no one in TV cares. Yeah. Like, you can't dictate everything by, like, but well, guys, this many people watch it. Congratulations. The final season at Game of Thrones is one of the most watched things ever. So Doesn't mean it's good. Here's, a, here's the thing I was saying, and I'm glad you brought up Game of Thrones is basically the way maybe maybe this is off a little bit but how I'm looking at it is there's also two companies three companies if you want to count TNA four companies if you want to count MLW like there are other wrestling companies that you can focus on but if we're just focused on AEW and WWE the way I look at it is especially after All Out, WWE, more like your Lord of the Rings type of uh, medieval fantasy. Like, yes, there's going to be parts that will blend into, like, PG-13. But for the most part, they stay in their lane. They have their brand that they have to protect. They're never going to cross the line. Where AEW, that's more Game of Thrones to me. They, they're they not going to go all, like, it's not purely, like, HBO. HBO has no limits of, like, 
Do whatever you want. HBO's like, dude, show as many butt cheeks on screen as you can at once. Yes, but... If I don't see clapping cheeks every five minutes, buddy, we're turning it off. We're canceling it. AEW is more in that direction than WWE is, is my point. Yeah. Yeah, over... That's the thing. One's more family-friendly if the other Mm -hmm. one isn't. Of, like, there's family-friendly things on AEW. Like, I'd say Orange Cassidy for the most part. Why do you think MJF stayed with AEW, in my mind? Yeah. I mean, Grant, I also think we would have just got a really nuded version of him. His promos would have been good in WWE, but they're better in AEW because he can say anything he wants. Yeah, like, and that's the thing of where it's just, and this kind of ties it back into, like, if they went too far, Mm -hmm. the fact of, like, WWE would never do, like, that final match. You're talking about the Swerve Hangman match? Okay. They never would have done that. Mm Mm-hmm. Because realistically, and this is my own thing, yeah, I just don't like WWE hardcore matches because they don't do enough. Because they'll be like, guys, look, he hit him with a chair and mm-hmm. sometimes a table. And they're like, oh my god. Yeah. Or in NXT, they get a beach ball thrown at him. <laughs> and it's like the most devastating move in wrestling, the I, beach ball. I'm sorry. I remember the WWE hardcore matches and I, they don't do it like this anymore. When Hardcore Holly, I can't remember, I think it was him and El Snow went into the parking lot, they went down by a river, and Al Snow got thrown into a river. Yeah, like, the last, like, actual hardcore, like, oh, like, that looks like it actually hurts mm-hmm. match that I remember was, like, Chompa Gargano in the street fight. Oh, yes. Which even yes. that, like, to me, I look at it this way. Like, if that is the, like, that's the level of hardcore I'm fine with. Like, Mm -hmm. hitting people with weapons, some stuff looks nasty. Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay, fine, I'm not hitting them with stuff that, like, is going to paralyze them. Granted, also, people need to remember, everything in wrestling can paralyze you. Big East crew was ended by, you know, a German suplex. Mm -hmm. He didn't get killed because he jumped off the top rope and did something. All it takes is one freak accident. Land a fraction of the way wrong. Yeah, it's, people as well have to understand, you can't equate like what you find squeamish mm-hmm. with like something that's unsafe. Mm-hmm. Cause like the needle, a lot of like, for instance, a lot of people squeamish of needles. Like mm-hmm. you're, Me. you don't like needles. Me. I don't mind needles. That's the safest thing they did that entire match. Cause then people are like, well, what if he like poked a vein or mm-hmm. a nerve? And it's like, you mean the thing that can be fixed? Yeah, I, I, you know, po- it's also if you um, poke uh, a vein, you don't die from a vein getting poked. I'm sorry. As a person who, you know, I'm sorry. Right here, yeah. there is nothing right here in my body that if you poke through it will kill me. Yeah. Are, are there like any vi- are there any vital organs in my cheek? No. Yeah. I just got a like hole no in my cheek and has to like, heal. He took a javelin and threw it at him, but like it's, it's not, safe because it didn't. And let's be honest, thing. it's not like the needle had AIDS on it. Yeah, like, it literally is just a needle that he took out of a package and mm-hmm. put it in. Mm-hmm. Like, people are acting like, oh my god, you know, like, he he shot him up with Magic Johnson's blood, <sighs> and it's just like, no, he just poked him with a needle. Calm down. There's probably nothing in that needle, let's be honest. Yeah, it's I guarantee closed. it's fresh out of the package, because mm-hmm. people are like, well, we don't know what where that needle was. I don't even know where the needle was. I'm mm-hmm. assuming that, you know, they kept it in a package, you mm-hmm. know, where needles are. And it had the cap on it the whole time until they took it off. Yeah, which then people are going to be like, well, you could always just put the cat back up. You know how hard it is to put a cat back on a needle? Mm -hmm. It's not very fun. It's not a pleasant thing. I'll be completely honest, and this is kind of like my ending point to this discussion, is I just think our society nowadays is just too sensitive. We are way too sensitive with everything we do that it's just like this is another example of like, the the oversensitivity, the also a little bit of cancel culture, because didn't you say there was a like a petition yeah. was signed to get AEW off of TV? Yeah, which granted it only has like a hundred signatures. Also, one but still petitions have it's never like, ended shit ever. If you Pardon don't like it, don't watch. I here's the thing I think the most and I I don't mean to go into the soapy, but I am. You know what most people forget about how this country was made? You want to hmm. know what speaks to people, Soapy? I'll, I'll show you. Hmm. What what talks in this country? This right here. This talks. If you speak with this, people will listen. If you don't like something, 
take this somewhere else and they'll listen. For audio listeners, Ricky pulled out his wallet. Thank you. Thank you. I pulled out my wallet. I forgot audio listeners couldn't see. Yeah, money, money. If you don't like something, take your money somewhere else. Because guess what? Yeah. Companies can't live if they don't have money. Yeah. I mean, well, unless you're AEW where it's well, like, oh, hmm. good point. Uh, me and my daddy own one of the biggest soccer clubs and I own the football but, team. But you're telling me if enough people stopped watching, stopped supporting that Tony yeah, Khan as a businessman, not go under, but Tony Khan as a businessman, if it got to this point, wouldn't be like, eh, I'm losing a lot of money on this. Either something needs to change or I can't continue to just burn money. Because yeah. that's how you and go I mean, broke. And also just, yeah. And I mean, and that's just the whole thing of, you know, like I fully agree. I think it's a lot of people don't understand that if you don't like something, like there's at a point that, a product is presented to you so many times that, like, you get the idea if you like it or not. Mm-hmm. Like, it's one of the things that when people will bring up, like, oh, like, because if people are like, I watched AEW and I didn't like it, fine. Like, you watched it, you gave it a chance, and you didn't like it. Mm-hmm. If you continue the discourse of it afterwards, okay, now you're in that annoying era. Yeah. Because it's like, if you actively watch it and criticize it, Fine, if it's valid criticisms, and I know people are going to be like, oh, well, moving the goalpost. Being like, they don't do storylines when, Ricky, I don't know about you. This hangman swerve has been one of the best storylines all year. Yeah, it's been one of the best stories that's happened in wrestling in the last, like, 15 years. Mm -hmm. That's not even me being, like, an AEW D writer. Mm -hmm. That's literally just me pointing out, like, there's actual, genuine, good story happening here. Mm -hmm. It's just the problem of what people don't understand is that when you give criticisms of a product, yeah. actually watch the product. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's like a lot of the people as well who are complaining don't understand why that match was happening. Mm-hmm. To where that's why, like, that's where I think a lot of the major complaints and a lot of the, I'm going to just say it, the big crybabies are coming from. <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah. Wah, wah. He poked him with a needle. There's never a time to do that. Brother, he broke into your house and threatened your family. Granted, you know, burning his house down and then killing him, I, you know, maybe an overstep. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But, like, that's the whole general premise of the story, is that Hangman has lost it. He's yeah. crazy now. Yeah. Because I mean, the fact of the crowd cheered for the guy who put his family in danger. Put it in perspective. You buy your childhood home, and then the man you've been feuding with burns it to the ground. How would you feel? Would you be a little unhinged, maybe? I'd be yeah. a little peeved. Yeah, I'd be unhinged. I'd be I would like, be oh, shucks, he burned my house down. I would be, well, if I was Scottish, I would be a psychopath. Yeah, to where, like, it's just, I don't understand, like, I don't know, that that starts veering into more, mm-hmm. like, general discussions yeah. with that. I, but, like, that's, that's my whole thing. It's I, just... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. I'm trying to cut you off. Yeah, I think it's just my final thoughts on it Mm -hmm. are, I think there is a part that it went a little too far, Mm -hmm. like with the plastic bag, you know, hitting people over, like, you know, center blocks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's general safety stuff. But at the same time, if the wrestlers are willing to do it, let them do it. Mm -hmm. Like, these guys, this isn't like two dummies in their backyard being like, oh, what happens if I put a bag over your head? Like, these people work with professional trades. It's like the same thing with, and I can tie this back to an old pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Remember when Darby jumped off the ladder through glass? Yes. In the retirement and everyone match? was like, oh, oh my god, like, they're, they're gonna, Darby's gonna die by the time he's 33. You guys know that's not even the most dangerous thing Darby's done? hmm That's, like, surprisingly one of the least Remember the stairs? That was worse. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, literally, I watched the concrete the video where it was stairs. Like three minutes of Darby almost dying. Mm-hmm. Like, for three minutes. And he just gets up and walks it off. And am I, am like, I wrong? The concrete stairs was worse than that. No. Well, I know there's... Yeah, those are bad. The ones at Jaguar was, Stadium? Yeah, because there's that. There's the one where like Christian threw him from the apron onto the stairs. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole thing is... These people, they don't just do this on the spot as if like they've never tried it before. This mm-hmm. All of this stuff is practiced. Yeah. What people need to understand is, like, when you go to speak about wrestler safety, 
everything they are doing is not being forced on them. Mm -hmm. They are willingly doing it. Like, for instance, if let's say like I was working a match in AEW and someone was like, let's do a Spanish fly. I can't flip. So I'd be like, no, I can't do that. Like, and we <laughs> no, wouldn't do I it. No, I can't do that. It, it's not going to them. It's not going to be them. Like, all right, you pussy, and it'd be like, all right, thanks, I guess. Well, it's like the story of like when Undertaker and uh, oh, what was it? The little, the little uh, Holly. Well, why am I? Uh, oh, uh, are you well, talking about the? Are you talking about Spike Dudley? Spike? No, was he the? Was he the small scrawny Spike? one? Yeah, Spike yes. Dudley was the little guy. When Spike Dudley was like. I want you to choke slam me from the ring to the outside on a table. And Undertaker's like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. And Spike's like, I, I think we should do it. And he convinced yeah. the Undertaker, but the Undertaker was like, okay, I need to practice. And all they did was he was not going to do it unless he practiced enough to know that he could choke slam Spike exactly where he needed to be to where he wouldn't get hurt. Yeah, like the it went in hardcore matches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, granted, if you're looking at like CCW and stuff like that, yeah, that stuff's not practice. That's just them being insane. Yes, like that's real indie wrestling. You mm -hmm. want to talk about indies? You watch CCW and watch them like jump through like ten feet of barbed wire. Like you watch that. That's like the they're not planning that. You can't plan to jump through barbed wire. Mm -hmm. But like when you get people. Where they're like, oh, well, you know, Darby's going to kill himself. Darby plans this. Darby's also a yeah. stuntman. Yeah. That's literally what he was doing before AEW. Like, before mm -hmm. he wrestled, he did stunts. Like, he does stuff with, like, the X Games. Mm -hmm. Literally, when Darby messed up his shoulder, like, and he had, like, the crap ton of tape around mm -hmm. his shoulder, he went to the X Games. Like, he went to, like, something that was, like, the X Games. Literally was doing a backflip, fell off the thing, hit that shoulder, stood up like it was nothing. Yeah. Or the fact of, you know, like, Darby got hit by a bus and still went to a meet and greet afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys gotta realize that, is like... Is that the scapegoat the, bus? No. This is, like, the actual time he got hit oh, by a bus. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Where, like, Darby literally had the worst luck I've ever seen in my life. That it was like he broke his foot so he couldn't go up Everest, uh -huh. and a week later he got hit by a bus. You're right, I forgot of about Where that. it's like, dude, life is just trying to kill Darby. Everyone's oh. like, climbing Mount Everest is gonna kill... No, the world's trying to kill yeah. him. I just think people need to chill. If yeah, you don't like it, don't watch. Do it's that simple. If you do not like it, don't watch. Yeah, it's have faith that the wrestlers know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. As always, we'd like to thank the people who make these videos possible, our patrons, whose names are displayed on the screen now. If you'd like to become a patron, click the link in the description below, and if you'd like to check out another video from MVP Entertainment, hit the video in the upper left. As always... Thanks for watching.